So, what's the day's date? Check it out on your phone. Seven. August 7th. August 7, 2022. Mira, mijo, uh, I really, I really, I mean, this has been my heart from a long time. To have, an, to come to a cemetery and have this conversation with you. Life is so short, but the reality, mijo, the reality of life, every human being, is that we inherit. Mortality, because that disobedience of Adam and Eve, and we inherit that disobedience. We all sin against God, mijo. If we go to church, it's not because we are good people. We go to church and we seek Christ, and we grow in the faith of who Jesus is, because we acknowledge who we are in our disobedience. that and that inheritance that we receive from Adam and Eve every human being mijo, every human being is bondage to disobedience against God and that's the fruit death people die because of the disobedience of Adam and Eve mijo. that's what we inherit from our father Adam and Eve This life is going to pass. All the desires, all the good things that you can have later on, they're going to be no more. But the greatest gift that you can have from me or I don't know how you want to take it. For your stepdad or whatever you want to see. The greatest gift I can give you is that there is hope in Jesus, mijo, that one day, one day, he won't leave our bodies in the cemetery forever. He conquered the grave already. And in order to have that insurance of eternal life, we have to acknowledge that we disobey God and we uh, have to ask God for forgive us, to forgive us. And he already forgive our sins with the blood of Jesus. Jesus died, mijo, to forgive our sins, to give us the hope of eternal life. Today I told you this, I mean, what we talked before I started recording, that if you follow Christ, mijo, it's because the gift of life that God has given us through Him. You see in the passage, in the passage in the Bible, that He conquered that recording, that He conquered the devil, man. He conquered the grave. Immortality is something, is, is something for sure and Jesus mejor. It's not like como una movie, you know, like the movie's like, oh, the immoral mommy or whatever. No, no, no. God don't create a human beings to be part of a cemetery one day. God create, he made us to live eternal life with him. He makes us in his own likeness and his own image, mijo. God is not that. That is not the image of God. I mean, we are not the image of God because God he never end up in a cemetery like us. That's because Adam and Eve disobey and we all blew it. We all disobey God. In order to be safe, in order to receive the forgiveness of your sin, you have to acknowledge that we sense against God. 
and because of the blood of Jesus, only because of the blood of Jesus, our sins can be forgiven if we ask God for forgiveness. And we have the hope of eternal life, my home, in Jesus. That's why we go to church. To learn, to understand, to grow in the faith of what we have for the things to come. God has promised new earth, new heavens and new earth. All this is going to be gone one day. One day this this planet, this earth that we live on, is going to be no more. And that that you see right there también, el cemetery, is going to be no more. One day God is going to raise every single human being that is in the graves because of the blood of Jesus. The ones who acknowledge that they sin against God and ask God for forgiveness, they're going to raise and inherit eternal life, living in the presence of God, living in the presence of Jesus Christ. Because they acknowledge their sinful life and ask God for forgiveness. Not because they were good. And those that they refuse to believe in God, they, those that they refuse to acknowledge that we sins against God, and those that refuse to ask God for forgiveness, they're going to raise. And not like a zombies, they're going to be a living beings again. And they're going to end up in the lake of fire, my home. That's why the Bible talks about salvation. Because Jesus came and gave his life in order for us not to end up in the lake of fire. Because we are sinful men. We all sin against God. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. I ask you, Lord, with all of my heart, Father God, I ask you, Lord, for plant these words in, in my Chaparrito's heart, Father God. Guard his heart, Father God. Guide him and the truth. We go to church now because we want to be good people. We go to church because we sin against you, Father God, and you have eternal life. One day, sooner or later, we're going to face that. We're going to end up in the cemetery, Father God. But we can be ensured, we can have the certainty that because of us recognizing, Father God, that we fail, that we sin against you, and we ask you for forgive us, to forgive us. And we believe that you forgive us. And Jesus, when he died, he paid, Father God, for us to be forgiven. That one day, Father God, you won't leave our, life, our bodies in the cemetery forever, Father God. I want you, Lord, to grab a hold of his heart. I pray for him, Father God, before we anoint him with oil, Father God, use him. Use him, Father God, in a mighty way, Father God, to preach the gospel. To preach this hope, Father God, to tell people, Father God, about this hope. That they don't have to be afraid. Because one day, Father God, the cemeteries will be no more. One day you're going to raise those that believe in Jesus Christ and ask you for forgiveness. You're going to raise those from the tombs and they're gonna leave before you Father God and they're gonna be Father God your servants your sons and daughters Father God because they put the trust in Jesus Father God grab a hold of his heart Father God today Father God mark his life give him Father God the ministry that you have for him don't let him, Father God, to be deceived. 
for all the pleasures of this life, Father God. The material things, Father God, that they're going to be no more one day. Everything is going to pass. But the hope that we have in Jesus of eternal life. And one day you're going to raise every human being, Father God, from the graves. That's the treasure that we should strive for. That's the richness that we can seek and force ourselves, Father God, to obtain and endure, Father God, into the end and that hope of eternal life that you have prepared for us in Jesus, Father God. I ask you, Lord, I don't know for how long, for how many years I'm going to be in his life, Father God, but I ask you, Father God, to put in his mind and his heart this time, this moment, this word, and never let him go, Father God, from his life. I ask you, Lord, to protect him, to guard him, to be with him and equip him, Father God. Teach him, Father God, in the way that he has to live your, his life to serve you, to please you. Can never, never, never let him forget the bondage of disobedience that all human beings are. That way he can depend on you and your grace and your mercy for his life. All the days of his life, Father God, be with him. Use him, Father God. Use him, Father God. Guide him in your will, Father God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What is this? I don't know. I don't want to. Mm -hmm. I think it's more like to cover the sun in this part. When you're driving and the sun is right here, that one it doesn't cover, not even this one. Oh, yeah. Mijo, yeah. I, don't, I don't want you to waste your life. I waste so many, so many years of my life, mijo, living in sin, living in disobedience, no understanding. I wish somebody told me Yeah, I wish somebody told me these things when I was a little boy. It would save me for a lot of mistakes that I do in my life. I'm grateful that I that I marry your mom. I'm grateful of God, man. She fear God. She's not a perfect woman, but she will live in the Lord. She loved the Lord, she liked to sing. She's not like, you know, others or the best singer in this planet, but she sings to the Lord with her heart. 